Good morning everyone, good morning class. This is your Sir Bits at your service and welcome to Bits Academy. Hello class, this will be the continuation of my recent video about resultant vector but this time we will use analytical method. So analytical method is more convenient and more accurate way in adding vectors or in determining the resultant vectors. Kasi, hindi mo na kailangan ng mga instrument, hindi mo na kailangan ng ruler, ng protractor. Ang gagawin lang natin dito sa analytical method is just compute. So, dito sa analytical method, more on calculations na ang gagawin natin. Hindi na tayo katulad dun sa graphical method na magdodrawing lang, tapos i-measure lang yung resultant ve vector, meron na tayong sagot. So, dito, lahat gagawin natin computations. So, meron siya mga type. Yung una is yung Triangle method. Sa triangle method, a-apply lang natin yung mga basic knowledge natin sa mga triangles. So, katulad ng ginawa natin kay Gatok Kaka, nakabuo tayo ng right triangle, in-apply natin yung Pythagorean theorem. So, A squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Nakuha na natin yung resultan. Pero yung triangle method kasi, applicable lang siya sa mga dalawang vectors na ipag-aad. Paano pag more than 2 na? So, mas convenient yung component method. So, bago natin putahan yung component method, alamin muna natin yung mga components of a vector. So, for example, nagkaroon ng change in position. Nagkaroon ng displacement. For example, 10 meters, 30 degrees north of east. So, yung 10 meters na yun, nagbago siya, 30 degrees north of east. Pero, nagchange din siya ng position in terms of x, which is yun yung papuntang east, at in terms of y, yun yung papuntang north. So, yung Change niya ng position doon sa x-axis at change niya ng position doon sa y-axis, yun yung mga components of a vector na tinatawag nating x and y components. So yung x component, yun yung projection ng vector doon sa x-axis. At yung y component, yun yung projection ng vector doon sa y-axis. So bago natin puntahan yung component method, isa-isahin muna natin paano natin inaalam yung mga x and y components. So for example, meron tayong vector na 3 meters east. So alamin natin ngayon yung x and y components nung vector na 3 meters is. So, pagdating sa x component, which is yung projection niya doon sa x-axis, nagkaroon tayo ng 3 meters. Positive yun kasi papuntang east. So, pagpapuntang west yun, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 3 meters. Pero dahil papunta naman siyang east, 3 meters para sa ating x component. Pagdating naman sa y component, which is yung projection niya doon sa y-axis, nagkaroon ba siya ng change in y-axis? So, dahil wala, ang y component natin for that particular vector is 0. And then, another example, for example, meron tayong 4 meters upward or north. So, pagdating sa x component, dahil hindi naman siya nagkaroon ng changing position in x-axis, so, 0 yung ating x component. Pero pagdating doon sa ating y component, nagkaroon siya ng 4 meters. So, 4 meters yung ating y component. So, ganun din, kapag papunta yung south or downward, negative so, paano na lang kung yung vector natin is at certain angle? So, for example, yung binanggit ko kanina, 10 meters at 20 degrees north of east. So, meron tayo rin change in x-axis at saka change in y-axis. Yung x component at y component natin. So, paano natin aalamin yon? So, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayo nung change o yung displacement natin, which is yung 10 meters, tapos meron yung x and y. Makakabuo tayo ng right triangle. So, ngayon, Yung x natin, yun ang magiging adjacent side ng angle natin na 20 degrees. At yung y-axis natin, siya yung magiging opposite side ng ating given angle na 20 degrees. So, paano natin makukuha yon Gamit ang trigonometry. So, katoa. So, dahil given naman yung hypotenuse, yun yung displacement. So, si x-axis natin ngayon, which is adjacent side, meron tayong adjacent at hypotenuse, pwede tayong gumamit ng Ka, which is cosine angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Yung adjacent side natin, yun yung ating x component. So, yung x component is equal to hypotenuse, hypotenuse which is yung given na 10 meters, times cosine ng angle na 20 degrees. Ganun din, para naman sa sine, para naman sa opposite side, yung ating y component naman, dahil opposite, then given ang hypotenuse, pwede tayong gumamit ng so. Sin theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Yung opposite natin, yun yung ating y component. So, ibig sabihin, si y component is equal to hypotenuse, which is yung 10 meters na given, times sine ng theta natin, o yung angle natin, which is yung 20 degrees. So, pag sinolve natin yon para sa x component, 10 meters times cosine 20 yun ay 9.39 or 9.4. Then, para naman sa ating y component, 10 times sine 20, 
yun ay 3.42 meters para naman sa ating Y component. So, ganun lang. Trigonometry pa rin. Then, tandaan nyo, hindi laging yung X ang adjacent side at hindi laging yung Y ang opposite side. So, depende yan dun sa given nating angle. Dahil marunong na tayong kumuha ng mga X and Y components ng mga vectors, pwede na nating puntahan yung pinaka-method, the component method. Yun kasi yung pinaka-first step doon. Alamin mo muna yung mga X and Y components ng mga given vectors. After that, get the summation of all X components as well as their Y components. Hanggang meron na lang tayong iisang X at iisang Y. Dahil dalawa na lang yung vector natin, pwede na natin i-apply yung triangle method. Specifically, the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay? Parang yung ginawa na lang natin kay Gatot Kaka. Then, yun, makukuha na natin yung resultant vector. So, i-apply natin siya sa problem. Zillow wants to get the accurate value of Tigril's displacement. So, doon siya doon sa ginawang graphical method. So, he follows Tigril's path from the base. He also walks 15 meters north, then 5 meters east, then moves 7 meters north, then 8 meters at 38 degrees north of east, and finally, turns 11 meters northwest. Let's help Zilong determine accurate displacement from the base using the analytical method. So, isolve na natin yung problem. So, sa pag-solve ng problem, gamitin natin yung iskresa. Sketch, given, required, equation, solution, and then answer. So, unahin natin sa sketch. So, ang given natin, sketch. Sketch. So, sketch muna natin yung problem. So, mula sa base, umakyat siya ng 15 meters north. 15 meters north. And then, after that, kumanan siya ng 5 meters east. So, 5 meters east. And then, after that, umakyat ulit siya ng 7 meters north. After 7 meters north, 38 degree north of east, umakyat siya ng 8 meters. After that, nag-northwest siya ng 11 meters. So, yung northwest, 45 degrees. Ayan. So, ito na yung sketch natin. After sketch, given. So, sa given, yung mga vectors, nagyan natin sila ng mga name para hindi tayo malito. So, tawagin natin itong A, B, C, D, E. So, for vector A, we have 15 meters north. Vector B, 5 meters east. Vector C, 7 meters north. Vector D, 8 meters, 38 degree north of east. Vector E, 11 meters northwest. Okay, tapos na yung given. Doon naman tayo sa required. Required is the resultant vector or yung displacement. Okay, after required, equation use. So, yung gagamitin natin equation. So, una, yung para sa x components ng resultant, summation of all x components. Para naman sa y component ng resultant, summation of all y components. Then, after that, para sa resultant, gamit tayo ng Pythagorean, lagyan natin yung a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Then, tsaka dun sa angle towa, tangent theta, opposite over adjacent. So, ito yung mga equation na kailangan natin at gagamitin natin for this particular problem. Dun tayo sa solution. So, solution, kunin natin ang mga x and y components. So, unahin natin si x components. Yan. Para kay ax, si ax, pakiat ng north, so wala siyang x component. Zero. bx, pumunta ng east, 5 meters. So, lagay natin 5 meters, positive kasi pa east. Then, si x, umakit ulit ng north, so wala tayong x component. Si dx naman natin, naggumawa siya ng 38 degree, north of east. So, ito yung ating dx, kaano-ano siya ng 38 degree, siya ay adjacent side ng, ng right triangle. So, gagamit tayo ng cosine. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Ang adjacent side natin, yun yung ating dx. Then, ang hypotenuse natin, yun yung given na vector d, which is 8 meter. So, for our dx, we have 8 meter cosine 38 equal to yun, 6.3 6.3 meters and for last x component vector E so we have 11 meters 
northwest. So, yung ating x component doon ay negative kasi papuntang west. So, siya rin ay adjacent side ng 45. So, gagamit pa rin tayo ng cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent natin yung EX, then we have hypotenuse yung 11 meters. So, for EX, 11 meters cosine 45. So, 11 cosine 45, we have 7.77. Don't forget, dahil pa west, negative. Okay. Next. For y components. Ah, bago mag y components, kunin muna natin yung summation ng lahat ng x component. Para yun na yung magiging rx natin. Okay, we have 0 plus 5 plus 0 plus 6.3 plus negative. So minus 7.77. So we have 3.53 for the x component ng resultant. So 3.53. Yan. Okay, doon naman tayo sa Y components. Y components, AY, paakyat ng north, 15 meter. Positive dahil pa north. Pa north? Sinong pa north? Okay, BY. BY, dahil pa east siya, so, zero. Then, CY, pa north, meron tayong 7 meters. And then, for DY, ito siya. Ito yung DY natin, opposite siya nung 38 degree. So, gagamit tayo na sine. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, dy yung, yung opposite, then we have 8 meters for the hypotenuse. So, for r, dy is equal to 8 meters sine 38 degree. So, 8 sine 38, we have 4.92 or 93. 4.93 meters. So, for dy, yan, okay na. And last, to sa ating ey, si ey ay opposite lang din siya ni 45 degree. Actually, pareho lang yung value ng EX saka EY. Do, sige, isold na rin natin para mapatunayan. Sin theta, dahil opposite yun, opposite over hypotenuse. So, EY over 11 meters. EY yung opposite, 11 meters fee, hypotenuse. So, for EY, we have 11 meters sin 45 degree. Okay? 11 sin 45. So, diba? 7.77 din. Okay. Then, for the summation ng RY, So, we have 15 plus 0 plus 7 plus 4.93 plus 7.77. We have 34.7 meters for RY. Dahil meron na tayong RX saka RY, pwede na natin kunin yung magnitude ng resultant vector. Okay, drawing natin. Dahil pareho namang positive yung RX at RY. So, yung RX natin papuntang east, 3.53 meters. And then, yung RY natin papuntang north, 34.7 meters. So, ito yung ating R. So, makikita nyo, meron tayong right triangle. Ito yung angle natin. So, dahil right triangle yan, pwede na natin tayong gumamit ng Pythagorean Theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. C squared natin, yung R natin yun yung C. So, we have R squared is equal to Rx squared plus Ry squared. Para matanggal yung squared, we root both sides. Okay, cancel squared, r is equal to square root of rx squared plus ry squared, and then r is equal to square root of 3.53 meters squared plus 34.7 meter na naka-squared, then square root. Okay, tag natin yan, square root of 3.53 squared plus 34.7 squared. So, meron tayong 34.88 meters para sa ating magnitude ng resultant vector. So, para naman sa resultant angle, we have opposite over adjacent. So, tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite natin ay yung Ry, 34.7 meters. Over adjacent natin, Rx, 3.53 meters. Then, para makuha yung theta, yung angle, inverse tangent na 34.7 meters over 3.53 meters. So, we have tangent of 34.7 over 3.53, 84.19 degrees. Okay? So, yan yung ating sagot. So, for answer, is equal to, resultant is equal to 34.88 meters, 84.19 degrees north of east. Okay? 
So, yan yung accurate displacement ng ginawa ni Tiger Grid na ginawa din ni Zilong. Ngayon, i-compare natin siya dun sa nakuha natin sa graphical method doon kay Tiger Grill. So, si Tiger Grill kasi, nakuha niya ay ang nakuha ni Tiger Grill 35.284 degree north of east. 35.2 meter 84 degree north of east. Si Zilong, ito yung accurate 34.88 84.19 degree north of east. So, compare natin using the percentage error formula, true value minus experimental value over true value multiply by 100%. Then, get the absolute value. So, percentage error, unahin natin doon sa resultant, sa magnitude ng resultant. We have true value natin ay yung galing sa analytical which is 34.88 minus 35.2 galing sa graphical over 34.88 times 100%. Okay, so we have 4.88 minus 35.2 minus 34.88 is equal to times 100%. So we have 0.92% ng error. So minimal lang. And then pagdating sa error naman ng resultant angle. So, true value natin ay 84.19 degree minus 84 degree divided by 84.19 degree times 100%. So, we have 84.19 minus 84 divided by 84.19 times 100 is equal to 0.22 or 23%. Okay? So, kung makita natin, very minimal lang yung percentage error na na-omit natin mula dun sa ating ginawang graphical method. So yun, natulungan na natin si Zilong sa pagkuha ng accurate displacement na ginawa ni Tiger Grill gamit yung analytical method sa pagkuha ng resultant vector. I hope natuto kayo kung paano yung component method doon sa analytical method. Once again, this is your service at your service, class dismissed.